Welcome back to 40 TV. I'm your host, 40. Today I put together a tutorial on creating keyboard shortcuts for Final Cut Pro X. Right now I have a clip loaded. Uh, it's of some groceries I picked up today at the store. I'm on this health food kick. I'm doing P90X. In fact, you can watch my progress uh, as I continue. To, today is day six in that progression. Uh, the videos are located under the video journal tab on 40tv.com or under the P90X video journal on YouTube's website or on my channel. Right now, I have this clip that I have loaded, I've uh, analyzed for balanced color and applied a balanced color effect. I'm also going to add a quick correction. We can see that no correction has been applied right now because this little triangle that says show correction is currently black and white. If there was one applied, it would be in full color. So when I click on this to be able to show the color adjustments and slash color board, I can make changes either to the color, the saturation, or the exposure. Alternatively, I can add a preset effect by coming down here and clicking on one of these presets. So for example, if I switch to uh, Moonlight, this makes my video appear as it's been shot in the moonlight. So let's go ahead and add a keyboard shortcut to be able to toggle this on and off so I can see the before and afters. If I come up here to um, Final Cut Pro and go down to Commands, I can say Customize. Let me switch back over to the default command set. Come back over to Commands. I'm currently on the default uh, keyboard command set. If I go to Customize, it's going to bring up a keyboard. And on this keyboard, you'll be able to see all the different keys that are currently assigned to certain things. If I want to search for a particular thing, I can come up to the search box right here and type in correction. When I type in correction, you'll see color board toggle correction on or off is located. It has no keyboard shortcut currently assigned to it. Let's say I want to assign this to the letter C. In fact, option C, since it's an option for a color board, right? I can go ahead and click and drag the color board toggle on or off over here to option. It says that my command set default is owned by Final Cut Pro and cannot be edited. That's fine, I'll go ahead and make a copy. When I make that copy, it's gonna ask me what I wanna name this current uh, keyboard uh, shortcuts command set. Let's call it 40's Awesome Keyboard Shortcuts and say okay. When I say okay, this is now linked to option C. If I wanna see what's applied to any particular uh, keyboard for, uh, or key, I can click on it. So for example, when I click on the letter A, we can see that command, which is the modifier, and A equals select all. We can also see that no modifier just switches to the arrow tool. This is helpful so you can see what's already applied to those keyboard shortcuts. I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. We'll switch back over to C to see that our option uh, C is still set to color board toggle correction on or off. When I click on save, and then close. I can come up here uh, to Final Cut Pro, go down to Commands, and see that we're currently on 40's awesome keyboard shortcuts. If I press um, Option C on my keyboard right now, you're gonna see that it's gonna toggle my color board on and off. If I click back right here, we'll notice that it's currently off. I can switch it back on by clicking on this uh, uh, square right here. Obviously, coming back to this portion when you're inside of a correction can be a little bit uh, painstaking. We're using a preset right now, but if I was just making slight corrections using my scopes, you'd want to be able to see the before and after much quicker, and I can do that by pressing Option C again. Notice also inside this win window it says correction is disabled, so that's a little handy as well. I'll press Option C again to apply the color board, as well as the effects and the presets that we've applied. So I hope you found this helpful, handy. Go ahead and assign any keyboard shortcut that you think will increase your workflow, uh, make you more efficient with inside Final Cut. I'm going to be putting together a tutorial on how to use the video scopes inside Final Cut Pro shortly. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask with inside the channel, commenting, etc. Please rate, favorite, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Alright guys, I'm out.